Hello, this is John from johnesburg.com, and we're going to do a tutorial on how to use the Red Eye Correction Tool. All right, the Red Eye Correction Tool can be found under the Develop module, and to get into it, you come up to right here where it says Red Eye Correction, you left click, and you're in. Now you can see I get to work with pupil size and darkening. To come on over and do it, you slide over into the image, you'll find that you have crosshairs that you get to work with. And those crosshairs, real simple, just go over the eye, left click, Lightroom will automatically zoom into what it assumes to be the eye and the proper darkening that it needs to make. It's very, very intuitive on it. Now you can also come in and you can actually adjust the size of your crosshairs with the left to shrink. Alright, a little smaller than that. Right bracket to grow, so that's left bracket to shrink, right bracket to go, left click on it, does it work essentially automatically. You can go in and you can adjust things and as you can see I can just fly right along, knock them out, no problem. And if you want you can come in and you can grab the ellipse and see what kind of effect it's making. See how it's turning things into grayscale there? Uh, I really don't want that, so I'm going to back out from that last adjustment. Control Z to fix it. Now, well, let's say you do crosshairs on something that you know is not an eye. Will Lightroom pick it up? Hmm. Oh, it targeted something else. How about if you zoom in? Hit Z to zoom in. I'm going to shrink my crosshairs. What's that do? In that case, it's spotted that there wasn't an eye around. Now let's say you want to get rid of one of these ellipses because obviously you don't want somebody's eyebrow. You just select on it. You select on the circle. You see your cursor change into an arrow there. You hit delete and it goes bye-bye. Right, to, to save everything, you go back up to the red eye correction button. You hit that again. It turns everything into accepted work. If you change your mind and you come back over and you could you want to uh, toggle it on and off to see the before and after results you hit the toggle on and off button so I'm gonna leave it on and let's come back into the image here there we go see my ellipse let's say you're working in it you want to get rid of the ellipse you can also hit the H key to turn off those ellipses so H key to see the final results Toggle switch for on and off. And we're done. Well, this is John from johnesburg.com, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.